Welcome you all to today's lesson. I know, you are looking forward to learn Azure from the beginning. So today, I am going to explain, Azure Introduction, and Azure Basics. So stick with the lesson and please ask your questions in the comments section. What does Azure offer? With help from Azure, you have everything you need to build your next great solution. Build on your terms, you have choices. With a commitment to open source, and support for all languages and frameworks, build how you want and deploy where you want to. Operate hybrid seamlessly, on premises, in the cloud, and at the edge we'll meet you where you are. Integrate and manage your environments with tools and services designed for a hybrid cloud solution. Secure your data, get security from the ground up, backed by a team of experts, and proactive compliance trusted by enterprises, governments, and startups. What can I do with Azure? Azure provides more than 100 services that enable you to do everything from running your existing applications on virtual machines to exploring new software paradigms, such as intelligent bots and mixed reality. How does Azure works? Azure also use virtualization technology. Typical PC or server contain hardware resources and software services installed top on its hardware. In virtualized environment, there is a layer called, hypervisor. So we can create several virtual machines on a physical server, and hypervisor emulates all the functions of your PC to the virtual machine. We can create several virtual machines and their operating systems could be Windows or Linux. Azure using these virtualization technology in massive scale. Microsoft has many data centers around the world. A data center has many racks built with servers. Each server has a hypervisor installed to run multiple virtual machines. A network switch provides connectivity to of these servers, and one server in each rack has special software, called a fabric controller. Each fabric controller connects to a software call orchestrator. Orchestrator responsible for everything in Happen in Azure, including user requests. Users are using API to send requests to the orchestrator. For example, user interface of the Azure portal. When user requests to create a virtual machine, orchestrator pack all the required information and send to the particular fabric controller. Once fabric controller creates the virtual machine then user can connect to it. The Azure portal is your one-stop graphical management solution. You can configure, manage, monitor all of your Azure services and subscriptions. Using Azure Portal it is easy to create resources with wizard-like environment. Something as simple as a website, a geographically redundant database, or a full Kubernetes cluster. After a resource is created you can use Portal to adjust its parameters. You can create personalized custom dashboard to manage and monitor resources. Within the portal you can start or stop services as needed. You can scale your solution by adding or removing of resources from your subscription. You can track your billing status. Online monitor resources or create reports for in-depth analysis. Azure Portal is your gateway to manage all your subscriptions. You can see typical Microsoft Azure Data Center architecture here. So let me remind me the Azure Data Center architecture once again. As you know, physical server has a hypervisor, and using the hypervisor the numbers of virtual machines can be created inside a single physical server. There is a special software installed in each server called the Fabric Controller. Each server has connected to a network switch and a server rack contains of several servers. All the servers in the data center are connected to a special software called the Orchestrator. You can access Orchestrator via API using Azure Portal. 
Orchestrator has the responsibility to manage all the resources as well as respond to the user requests. When a user creates a virtual machine using Azure Portal, then the information passed to the orchestrator. Then orchestrator process the request and send the instructions to the particular fabric controller. Then the fabric controller creates a virtual machine. No user can access the virtual machine through Azure Portal. So please share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel. You can stick with my channel to learn more interesting subjects in a simple way. See you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.